Computer software. The objectives are 1. Understand the different categories of computer software. 2. Explore the software development lifecycle, including stages like requirements gathering, design, coding, testing, and maintenance. 3. Discuss various methodologies like Agile, Waterfall, and DevOps. 4. Highlight the significance of software updates, patches, and security fixes in maintaining software integrity and protecting against vulnerabilities. 5. Compare and contrast open-source software and proprietary software, discussing their advantages, disadvantages, and implications for businesses and individuals. Computer software is a collection of instructions or data that tells a computer what to do. It is the intangible part of a computer system, in contrast to the physical hardware components. Software is essential for all computers, as it allows them to perform tasks such as processing data, running applications, and communicating with other devices. System software is responsible for managing the computer's hardware and resources. It includes the operating system, device drivers, and utility programs. Application software is used to perform specific tasks, such as word processing, web browsing, and playing games. Some common examples of computer software include operating systems, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, iOS, web development software, Visual Studio Code, Sublime Text, Atom, video games, Minecraft, Fortnite, and Call of Duty, mobile apps, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. The categories of computer software are 1. Application software is software designed for specific tasks or applications that end users interact with directly. It's what people typically think of when they refer to software. Application software includes word processors, e.g., Microsoft Word, web browsers, e.g., Google Chrome, spreadsheet software, e.g., Microsoft Excel, multimedia players, e.g., VLC, and a wide range of specialized software for tasks like graphic design, gaming, and productivity. Application software enables users to perform various tasks, such as document creation, data analysis, entertainment, and communication. 2. Middleware is a bridge between system software and application software. It provides a set of services and functions that facilitate communication and data exchange between different software applications. Middleware includes software components like application servers, database management systems, message-oriented middleware, and web servers. Middleware acts as a mediator, enabling different software systems to work together seamlessly. It's often used in distributed computing environments and complex software architectures. Software Development Process The Software Development Lifecycle, SDLC, is a series of phases or stages that guide the development of software. Each stage has its own set of activities and objectives. The typical stages in the SDLC are as follows. 1. Requirement Gathering This initial phase involves gathering and documenting detailed requirements from stakeholders and end-users. Requirements are collected through interviews, surveys, workshops, and other methods. These requirements serve as the foundation for the entire development process. 2. Design in this phase, the software's architecture and design are created based on the gathered requirements. Designers create system architecture, database structures, user interfaces, and other technical specifications. The goal is to create a blueprint for the software. 3. Coding, Implementation During this phase, developers write the actual code for the software based on the design specifications. On the design specifications, Developers write, test, and debug the code. They follow coding standards and best practices to ensure maintainability and readability. 4. Testing. Software is rigorously tested to identify and fix defects and ensure it meets the specified requirements. Different types of testing are performed, including unit testing, integration testing, system testing, and user acceptance testing. Automated testing tools are often used. 5. Development. The software is deployed in a production environment where users can access and use it. Deployment involves installation, configuration, and setting up the necessary infrastructure. It may include data migration and user training. 6. Maintenance and support. 
After deployment, the software requires ongoing maintenance and support to fix bugs, update features, and ensure its continued functionality. Maintenance may include regular updates, patches, and addressing user feedback and issues. Software Development Methodologies Various methodologies exist for managing the software development process. These methodologies define how tasks are organized, roles are assigned, and communication is facilitated. Three common methodologies are 1. Waterfall Sequential and linear approach with distinct phases. Each phase must be completed before the next begins. Suitable for projects with well-defined and stable requirements. Agile an iterative and flexible approach that focuses on collaboration, customer feedback, and adaptability. Ideal for projects with evolving or unclear requirements and for delivering frequent, small increments of functionality. DEVOPS, Development and Operations. DevOps is not a specific SDLC, but a culture and set of practices that emphasize collaboration between development and IT operations teams to automate and streamline software delivery and infrastructure management. Applicable in modern, fast-paced environments where continuous integration, continuous delivery, C, CD, and rapid deployments are essential. Importance of updates and patching. 1. Security Vulnerability Mitigation. Software, including operating systems, applications, and libraries, often contain security vulnerabilities or bugs. These vulnerabilities can be exploited by malicious actors to compromise the system's security. Updates and patches. Developers regularly release updates and patches to fix these vulnerabilities. Applying these updates promptly is essential to protect the software and its associated data from security threats. 2. Bug fixes and stability. Software can have various bugs and glitches that affect its performance, stability, and functionality. Updates and patches. Updates often include bug fixes and improvements that enhance the software's stability and overall performance. Ignoring updates can lead to a less reliable and potentially frustrating user experience. 3. Compatibility with new technologies. As technology evolves, software needs to adapt to work smoothly with new hardware, software libraries, and standards. Updates and patches. Software updates often include compatibility enhancements to ensure the software remains functional on the latest hardware and software platforms. Without these updates, users may encounter compatibility issues. 4. Feature enhancements. Users often expect software to evolve and offer new features, capabilities, and user experiences. Updates and patches. Software updates can introduce new features and improvements based on user feedback and changing market demands. Regular updates help keep the software competitive and aligned with user expectations. 5. Legal and regulatory compliance. In certain industries, non-compliance with legal and regulatory standards can result in severe consequences. Updates and patches. Updates can include changes to ensure that software complies with evolving legal and regulatory requirements. Failing to apply these updates may lead to legal liabilities or operational disruptions. 6. Long-term software sustainability. Over time, the software can become outdated and unsupported by its developers, making it increasingly vulnerable to security threats. Updates and patches. Regularly updating software can extend its life cycle and ensure that it remains supported, reducing the risk of using obsolete and insecure software. 7. Community and user trust. Users and customers trust software providers who demonstrate a commitment to security and reliability. Updates and patches. Consistently provides updates and patches and communicates to users that the software vendor takes security seriously, building trust and confidence in the product. Open source versus proprietary software. Updates and patches. Consistently provides updates and patches and communicates to users that the software vendor takes security seriously, building trust and confidence in the product. Open source software. Licensing. Open source software is typically released under licenses that allow users to view, modify, and distribute the source code freely. Some open source licenses may have restrictions on commercial use or redistribution, so users must understand the specific license terms. Cost. Open source software is often available for free, making it cost-effective for individuals and businesses. 
While the software itself is free, there may still be costs associated with support, customization, and training. Community collaboration. Open source projects benefit from a global community of contributors who can improve the software, fix bugs, and add features. The level of community support and the quality of contributions can vary widely, leading to potential inconsistencies in software quality. Transparency and security. The transparency of open source code allows for extensive scrutiny, which can enhance security and reduce the risk of hidden vulnerabilities. Security depends on the diligence of the community and the speed at which vulnerabilities are identified and patched. Flexibility and customization. Users can customize open source software to meet their specific needs, fostering innovation and adaptability. Customization can require technical expertise and may not be practical for all users or businesses. Proprietary software. Licensing. Proprietary software is protected by intellectual property rights, and its source code is typically not available to users. Users have limited control over the software, and licensing terms often restrict redistribution and modification. Cost. While proprietary software often comes with a price tag, it usually includes professional support, documentation, and warranty services. Licensing fees can be significant, especially for businesses with a large number of users or devices. Quality assurance. Proprietary software is typically developed and tested rigorously by a dedicated team, which can result in high quality and reliable products. Users may have limited insight into the development process, making it harder to identify and address issues. Vendor lock-in. Proprietary software vendors provide integrated solutions and support, reducing compatibility and interoperability concerns. Users can become dependent on a specific vendor, making it challenging to switch to alternative solutions in the future. Updates and support. Proprietary software vendors offer regular updates, patches, and professional support to address issues promptly. Users are reliant on the vendor's schedule and may face additional costs for extended support or updates. Implications for business and individuals. Open source. Open source software is often favored by cost-conscious individuals and businesses looking for flexibility and community-driven solutions. It can be particularly advantageous for customization and in scenarios where transparency and control are essential. Proprietary software. Proprietary software offers the advantage of professional support, reliability, and vendor accountability. It is often preferred in enterprise environments where stability and vendor integration are critical. Ultimately, the choice between open source and proprietary software depends on individual needs, budget constraints, technical expertise, and the specific goals of businesses and individuals. Many organizations use a combination of both types of software to strike a balance between cost-effectiveness, flexibility, and support. Software licensing models. Proprietary software is protected by intellectual property rights, and its usage is subject to licensing agreements set by the software's owner or developer. Users typically pay for a license, which grants them the right to use the software under specific conditions outlined in the license agreement. Users must adhere to the terms of the license, which may include restrictions on copying, redistribution, modification, or use for commercial purposes. Open source software is distributed with a license that allows users to view, modify, and distribute the source code freely. Open source licenses vary, with some permitting broad usage and modification while others have more restrictive terms. Users must comply with the specific open source license under which the software is distributed. Common open source licenses include the new general public license, GPL, MIT license, and Apache license. Thank you for watching.